hello guys how are you guys doing i hope you guys are doing well thank you very much for stopping by if you've not subscribed to my channel please kindly do so this will really mean a lot to me also consider sharing this video like this video so that it can go viral so in this tutorial what we'll be learning is how to make this beautiful top you guys are viewing it's a cow neck sleeveless top it's quite technical yet simple and easy to make if this is what you really love to learn you should consider watching till the end and yeah let's get started guys so in this tutorial what we'll be needing is our tape pro eraser pencil your pattern master cover ruler gum the material paper the material i'm using is dutchies yeah so the first thing i'm doing is to mark one inch okay from the edge of my paper as you are seeing this one inch will serve as the zip allowance okay i'm just i'm not going to put a zipper on this on this top okay but i'm just mapping out this zip allowance okay in case if i should need zipper in the future of or if it requires zipper okay yeah so after that i'm going to map mark out one inch from the edge of my paper so that will serve as the shoulder line so i'm going to connect it with my pattern master okay so that will serve as my shoulder line okay so i'm actually drafting a basic bodies okay this will serve as the front and back basic bodies i'm drafting both of them together okay yeah so what i'm marking right away is my shoulder measurement divided by two and after that i marked three inches width for the neckline and three inches depth for the neckline and i'm connecting it like so so i'm just marking 0 0.75 and just to enable me connect the neck curve okay yeah so this is how i normally connect my neck curve easily so after that i'm going to map down one inch depth okay for the back neck depth okay I'm, i marked one inch this will serve as the back neck depth okay the first one i marked was the front neck depth so you can see i'm just marking 0 0.5 inch just to enable me connect the curve so from the shoulder point i'm marking down one inch and i'm connecting it like so that will serve as the shoulder slant so from that point i'm marking my chest line so you guys to get your chest line you are simply dividing your boss circumference by six plus 1.5 so that is how i got my chest line okay so i will mark it like that and connect a horizontal line so that line will serve as my chest line it's also known as the bust line okay so after that i'm just marking whatever i have on the shoulder line okay just to connect the armhole line so i marked whatever i have on the shoulder line on that bust line so that i can connect a straight line so after that i'm marking my bust circumference divided by four plus one inch sewing allowance okay so after that i'm just getting the midpoint of the armhole line and i'm coming in by half inch just to enable me connect the armhole curve okay so what i'm doing was just getting the center line of that angle and from that angle now i'm coming out by half inch this will enable me connect my armhole curve okay you guys i know you guys already know how to do this but yeah we are just doing it all over i have a tutorial on how to draft a basic bodies okay so you can watch out to understand if you this is not clear to you but i believe this is already clear to you so after that i'm going to mark the waistline from the shoulder line okay i'm simply marking 14.5 as my waistline so after that i'm connecting it with my pattern master so after that i'm marking 
the length of my top okay i'm just marking 21 inches i don't want the top to be too long i just want it on top of my hip or so so what i marked was 24 21 inches and that will serve as the length of my top okay so i'm marking my waist circumference divided by four plus two inch okay i added one inch is at the waist because i don't want it to be shaped so at the top length i'm marking my hip circumference divided by four plus one inch seam allowance and i am connecting it like so so having draft this the next thing i'm going to do is to add uh, seam allowances half inch at the shoulder line at the neckline armhole line then one inch at the seam and one inch at the hemline so that is actually what i'm doing guys so guys if you've not subscribed to my channel please kindly do so this will really mean a lot to me guys consider liking this video so that it can make it go viral so i believe that this tutorial is quite a simple one but if you still find any parts confusing you can drop your questions on the comment section i will attend to that So I'm going to grab my paper scissors to cut out the pattern, okay? So what we have here actually is the front and back pattern, okay? So I'm going to use this pattern to cut out the back first. Then after that, I'm going to modify it so that we can use it to get our front pattern, okay? So that is actually what we are doing. So this is it guys, I've used the back pattern to cut out two pieces, okay? This will serve as the back, back pattern, okay? So for us to use this to get our front pattern, I'm cutting out the zipper allowance, okay? And I'll also cut out the neckline. That way we have our front pattern, okay? So what we are actually doing is a cow neck. So after cutting this out, we have our front pattern. We are going to, you know, modify it to give us the cow effect. So what I'm actually marking is two inch apart. We are going to have only three slash lines. Okay. Two so we come from the shoulder and one from the armhole. So we are just going to see how it's going to have marked two inch, two inch apart on the shoulder line okay then i want this cow effect to stop three inches below the chest line okay so i'm just pacing it out by three inch as seen so i marked three inches and i also marked three inches okay so just watch carefully how i'm doing this if you do your own same way you are going to have the same thing okay So you can see I marked two inch and I marked three inch down there, okay? So I'm going to get my curve ruler and I'm connecting it like so. So I connect the first line, then I'm going to connect the second line, okay? And the third line will come from the middle point of the armhole okay can you see that yeah so after that i'm going to use my scissors my paper scissors to cut those lines open okay 
I'm not going to cut it through. I'm stopping like 0 0.75, 0 0.125. Sorry, guys. So I'm not cutting through. I'm just leaving like 0 0.125, okay, inches. Can you see? Just, you are just stopping. You are just leaving a tiny space, okay? You are not cutting it through. That is actually what I want to explain, guys. <laughs> So you can see I've placed this on a fresh pattern paper and you can see how I am going to use my pin to secure the down part or I can use my pin or my gun, my glue or gum. <laughs> so I'm going to space this out by three inches, okay? So I don't want this cow neck to fall that way in such a way that my chest will be revealing so that's why i'm not you know i'm not i'm not i'm not anxious about it about um, those paper coming out i'm not anxious about it containing the whole paper i don't know how to explain this guys but i hope you guys understand what i'm doing so, <laughs> so i spread this out by three inches okay so you can see that some of the paper are coming out okay so i don't want it to fall as much that is why i'm not really you know concerned about how the paper is coming out so i'm actually going to cut out those paper that are coming out okay you can see what i mean so i spread this by three inches and i'm you know keep it keeping it down with my gum So this is actually simple to make guys just you know do whatever you see that i'm doing here and you achieve the same results so the more you spread it the more fuller effects you have okay so i'm just going to connect a straight line like so not minding that the part of the paper is up there so i just want it straight and after that i'm going to add one inch okay from that straight line i'm adding one inch okay that one inch will serve as the you know it will serve as the facing something that i'm going to use to turn it okay So for me to connect the line, you can see I'm just folding this like that so that I can use my tracing way. Okay, I'm folding it over. On that line I am marked, I fold it over. Okay, then you can see where I'm tracing so that by the time I open it up, I'm going to, you know, mark a, a line that will be, you know, that will match when I actually fold it in because if I just mark it straight like that, it's, it might not match, okay? That is why I folded it like that, okay? So this is it, guys. The technical part of it, we are almost done with it. We are done with the technical part of it. And what I'm doing now is to cut it out. And that way we have our front pattern this is sweet guys <laughs> i'm enjoying every bit of it and i hope you guys enjoy that too so we have our front pattern and you can see the facing how i folded it over everything rhymes okay so i'm going to cut this on fold you can see the folded parts you can see those um leftover papers i'm cutting it out okay I don't want to push it in because I don't want it to fall. That was what I was explaining earlier. So before I remove this paper, actually, I have to notch that point. That point that I, I raised up by one inch. Okay, so that I can know where to fold over. It, that point that serves as the first thing, okay? I have to notch it so that, you know, when folding over, I will actually know that, okay, that is where the folding is starting. So after notching it, I remove the paper. 
and this is it guys you can see you can see that um we have our front and our back material cut out okay so what i'm going to do is go to go to my weaving machine i'm going to weave it round okay after weaving it around, I will use my bias steps, okay, to finish up the armhole, the neckline of the back, okay. And for the facing, I'm going to use the hemming gun, my hemming gun to, you know, hold it down so that it can look well finished, okay. I don't want to see um, seam line up there, so that's why I'm going to use my hemming gun to finish up that place that I'm, you know the facing at the front the one inch that i added for the facing at the front i hope you guys understand this guys so you can see that i have you know finished the neckline with the um with my hemming gum you can see that and the armhole i used my bias to finish up the armhole yeah so i also joined the back by the one inch the parallel ones that i added so i'm going to join it at the shoulder like so okay i'm going to join it at the shoulder at the two shoulders i'm going to join it like you are seeing so once i join it i will also join it by the side okay this is very simple <laughs> we are done already guys so after that i will finish up the hemline with my hemming gum and yeah this is the finished look guys this is how beautiful this looks guys if you find this video helpful please kindly like this video share it drop um drop uh, your comments and questions on the comment section guys and if you've not subscribed to my channel please kindly do so this will really mean a lot to me all right guys thank you for watching till the end i will see you guys in the next one bye